This right here is the Palace of Versailles. It is a stunning home, a townhouse that is very uniquely on the market right now in New York City. And I've always wanted to visit like a really stately, beautiful townhouse in New York City. Right now we're in Lenox Hill, uh, which is right by the Upper East Side. A lot of people would call this the Upper East Side. And this property dating back to 1872, we're gonna take a tour 20 minutes through the entire home. It is really mind blowing and it has a huge price tag. So right over here, we are with Jorge of Nest Seekers. And Jorge, where are we located right now? We are located in 163 East 64th Street in the Upper East Side. Yeah. So this is the finest Neo-Georgian townhouse you're gonna find in New York City. Oh, that, that, and how much is the price? Well, we're at, we're offering at a 15,995. Ah, million. okay. So just under $16 million, but it's a huge property. We're talking 8,000 square feet, 90 foot of depth. So you're gonna see right now how big and magnificent this property really is. Okay, I, I'm super, super excited. So $15.9 million. If you have that, let us know in the comments. All right, so here we have like a Georgian facade, 1872 and it is gorgeous. All this facade yeah. got renovated by the same people that renovated the St. Uh, I think it's St. John's Cathedral. Yeah, St. So John they, the Divine. St. John the Divine. They all came from France specifically and they did the whole facade for this building. The whole, whole renovation got done in 1992. It took it about maybe eight months more or less to take the whole renovation done. Wow, that's mind blowing. And then part of the renovation, they also read the floor. All this they is blue too. stone. It's yeah. all heated underground. So if it snows or it gets ice, <laughs> all you have to do is press one button and it melts away. Wait, seriously? That's yes. crazy. So no shoveling snow. No shoveling ever. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't worry about that if I had 15.9 million, but that is mind blowing. <laughs> and let me just show the street before I, uh, we continue. So right here, there's a typical Lenox Hill street. We have some high rises down there. And this build, uh, like this whole street is all grandfathered. You're gonna get yeah. all these line posts. You're not gonna find them anywhere else. You got the steel rail on the curb. All these three posts got put in specifically by the home association here in the oh, street. Wow. So this whole street is very, very unique yeah. by itself. That's a selling point on its own. Yes. That is interesting. Yeah, so everyone notice the, right here, the lamp post. That's fascinating. And Alicia says, heated sidewalk, we all need that. Yes, indeed. <laughs> let's walk all right, right in. Let's go inside. Oh, I'm so hyped. Welcome, welcome. Oh, wow. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, so, wow. This, people call this the Versailles of Upper East Side. Yeah. Uh, multiple articles. And you can tell immediately while walking in. You're going to see it mostly once we get to the second floor, the parlor floor. You're going to see more of the details why it's called the Versailles of New York. You're going yeah. to see some details on the flooring specifically mm. that is going to make it stand out why we're calling it that way. Oh, okay, okay. But all this yeah. wallpaper is all hand painted, custom made. It was originally only five foot the design, so it mm. had to be custom hand painted to match all the way to the ceiling. Oh, I see. Oh, that's and amazing. And here we have the other two uh, real estate Hi. agents. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> We have a nice team over here. Beautiful details, wow. Uh, gorgeous wallpaper. That's amazing. And then uh, let's check out the powder room real this quick. This powder room, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah you can go ahead, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. So right here, beautiful marble. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous, yeah. There we go, beautiful light. Oh, light, amazing. Yeah. This is a beautiful even just immediately coming in it's it's stunning it is uh, and that yellow marble is something that you can no longer find out like to purchase acquire and if you want to see it anywhere else out in public go to the new york library you'll find the exact same marble there <laughs> that's my, that's mind-blowing wow yeah, so fun fact that marble in the new york public library and this one as well is so heavy that you need really special heavy steel toe boots in order to work with it mm -hmm. so here we are, this, this is just the main floor. Obviously this is the grand staircase, we'll go through it soon. But just follow us through the kitchen here real quickly. And Alicia is saying, are we doing real estate? Yeah, we are, we're touring we are. the home. You know, I've been looking for a new property, so. Uh, hey, if anybody's so, interested, yeah. Yeah. reach out, nest seekers. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> so you got your own office. Obviously you can convert it to whatever you want, but right now they have it as a gym space. And through here, you're going to see you have a service entrance from the front. So if you're ever having like yeah. a, a, an event with catering, they can just come through here, not disturb your guests, come straight to the kitchen. 
Oh, fascinating. Oh, interesting. So this this leads yeah, right to the, to right the, front, to the door. front door. Yeah, ah. so it's a side door, side entrance. So you come straight to the back. Mm -hmm. That way you do not interfere with guests coming in mm -hmm. and the reception area. And it's huge gym. I'm kind of stunned that this gym is so big uh, and that they worked it right into the front of the building as well. And Dolores says, I'm loving the decor. Yeah, the decor is stunning. You haven't seen nothing yet. <laughs> he had a uh, good taste. <laughs> Nine cameras run. Oh, 100% close. Oh, man. Oh, the little dog run in the back. It's just a little strip of backyard. Oh, nice. So you have a little fountain down there. Yeah. That way you can open up, do a little barbecue sometimes if you don't want to go all the way up to the top terrace. So it doesn't have a full backyard, this No, that's the, the, that's the okay. space that it has for a backyard. So from here, we can go up to the parlor floor. The basement, so you can see the wine cellar. Wait, let me. Uh, these buildings are so heavy stone that sometimes there's bad. We cell can phone share pictures there. later. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go up the grand staircase to the parlor floor. So you have to use the your imagination for the wine cellar. Just imagine tons of the most expensive rare wines. And this is wow, the oh. floor. Oh my god. <laughs> Here you're gonna witness the whole what? depth of the property. No, that is crazy. Wow, and I heard that this was modeled literally after Versailles, Louis XIV's yeah. room. And then you can see the flooring is the custom Versailles flooring as well. That is mind-blowing. Everyone, let us know if you still see, see us and hear us. There was a little bit bad cell phone reception down below. All these are uh, replicas of Frick's painting. They're all custom made by like top-notch uh, like art replicators, if you want to call them that. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, so these are the same paintings that are in one of the major rooms of the Frick collection. Exactly. Yeah. So these are mm. replicas of the Fricks. Wow. They were and all hand like painted specifically like for this room because he wanted to make you feel like if you were on the outside. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, it feels very open because uh, generally these uh, New York City streets are ra rather dark. Uh, so it's nice that they made a very airy feeling inside the property. A lot of people technology side back in the 90s why it's so advanced every single room here has integrated wall speakers you don't see them but they're there so we have surround sound here so if you're entertaining you have microphone outlets even and down there you can, as you can see what? so you have somebody singing playing in the piano they can just plug in a microphone we have all the sound system and it's going to play perfectly throughout the whole parlor floor oh wow that, that's legit wow yeah i love it so whether you're in the library, yeah. or you're here, you're in the bar, in the dining room, you're gonna get mm. full exposure to the sound. But this is it, this is my room. <laughs> this is gorgeous, so this is, a, is this a real skylight? Yeah, this is a wow. true skylight. This is the Lalique ceiling, this is custom made. So this is representing basically the, the, the north winds. And even if you see, the re you see the reflection through the glass, how it switches depending yeah. on how you're looking. Obviously you gotta like tilt a little bit to see it, and then it has some interior lighting, so at night you mm. can turn it on and it, all the like little stars and sparkle like in a little bit like they made up. Marina and Daniel are saying, I'm already packing my bags, I'm moving here. And then here you can find the entire control system. <laughs> for, I love that for music. It's no. nicely hidden and everything. Yeah. yeah. Let's see, great. this is 90s right 90s, there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> And now for context, this is this was the home, because this is public knowledge already, uh, mm -hmm. this was the home of one of the more well-known songwriters and also real estate brokers of New York City. Exactly. And what was his name? Uh, Ken Lobb. Ken Lobb, yeah. yeah. Yep. So uh, custom flooring here as well, mm. made specifically for, for the bar. Wow. Yeah, people always ask me about the flooring, and it is a detail that sometimes some properties can miss. Mm -hmm. but over here no no this is all so, custom yeah. made work and these are the service stairs i mentioned in the kitchen yeah they come straight to the kitchen and through here we have uh, another guest bedroom in this case a service bedroom oh cool, cool so cool. it's separate from the main staircase that way again they don't interfere with your guests the services has to come up and down through their bedroom to go to the kitchen come here attend guests oh, yeah. they have their own stairwell that's very thoughtful of them yeah yeah because if you have a huge party going on people are moving back and forth Luckily, everything can move up and down this way. And then this dining room, like, oh my. <laughs> I think he can fit a few people over here. And yeah, yeah, exactly. There's, I think he has two more chairs that he said he could add, so it's still a little more 
space we can add. And uh, when it comes to buy a property like this, um, what happens with furniture? Can Someone buy it with the furniture, or, or I mean, that's how always for that discussion. Work? Like that's for discussion. Some sellers are willing to part with some of their furniture for a price. Yeah, it's always up for the discussion. There's a few items that they're always tied to that has some significance and importance to them. In this case, for example, some chandeliers, he might leave in in, in the property. Mm. We're still like going through the list of which ones are staying, which ones are not, but for, it comes down to like that little negotiations. Right. And well. Beautiful tapestry right over here. Look that was that. restored from from the people at the Museum of yeah. Modern Art. He oh, actually really? found it in a thrift store. Oh, wow. They had it like on the floor, like as a carpet. <laughs> and he bought it, and all of a sudden he had this big, magnificent piece that they just <laughs> basically thought it was like trash. That's crazy. So, yeah, it goes to show that not everything in a beautiful home like this is extremely crazy expensive and super rare. Sometimes something from a thrift store. Yeah. Beautiful pieces. Yeah, the guy was also a very be uh, amazing decorator. So uh, uh, usually sometimes people leave these properties furnished in order for showcasing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Either for showcasing or they're in the process of their need the sale to move. Ah. In this case, obviously, it is a lot of furniture that we just cannot like take out. It's a big property as we're going to keep on right. seeing. So it you would need to find like storage for all this type of furniture while you're doing so. And then put in the cost of staging as well. Mm -hmm. So it's, if you already have the furnishing, it's better just to work around it. It's easier, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, because for context, um, these very high-end properties, they're staging designers yeah. that come in and put furniture in order to make it look like a livable space yeah. so, so the buyer can get an idea of how it would look like. And as you and notice, and there's fireplaces in almost every room. There's yeah. a total of eight fireplaces in the property. Yeah. Uh, I think four or five of them are wood fireplaces, the rest are gas. Mm. The whole front line is 100% fire. That's the original okay. front line firewood uh, line for the wood. It, all of them were, when the property was restored, they all have extraction fans. Yeah. So you would not, regardless of which fireplace, they all vent to the outside. This is a stunning wood paneled room. And this is the original wood from 1972 from when the property was built. 1872, my apologies. Oh, yeah, 1872, thank I'm, you. I'm, I'm going with the restoration. Um, uh, Susie says, this could be the Urbanist Club Room. Urbanist is the name <laughs> of my channel. Yes, I mean, this looks very similar to the Players Club and also uh, the uh, Arts Club, the, the National Arts Club. It has that kind of look and feel from those old clubhouses, yeah. Mm, it is. It's totally serene here. Welcome everyone, nice to see you here. Right now we are exploring the 1872 home that is for sale, $15.9 million plus here in New York City. And funny stat about this yeah. monkey, it was a gift from comedian Dick Sean. Oh. So if you don't know, look, looking back, very good comedian, very high there in terms of like actors back in the day. Oh, okay. So it was a personal gift from, <laughs> from him to, to Ken. Oh, that's cool, Dick Sean. Nice. Let me know if you know who Dick Sean is. Oh. So what? What would this room? This is the library room. Library. Okay. You can just. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, yeah. sure you want to call it at the end of the day. I call it. We of call course. it the library. You come here, read a book, sit quietly, put on some music. Sorry. This is important. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is something that cannot be missed. The the restrooms. Wow. And this one's very beautifully decorated for sure. And beautiful, huge mirror. Look at that. Wow, amazing. And even more beautiful stonework. All right, so upstairs? Okay. Yeah, let's, let's go to the next floor. Make sure everything is turned on. Yes, we are. Uh, Roy says, uh, 15.9 million. Okay, checking my pockets right now. Yes. <laughs> hey, if you invested in Bitcoin early, you might have the pocket for this. <laughs> Stay tuned. That towards the end, we're going to explain how you can buy this in a different way from the yeah. normal route. <laughs> so this is one of the first bedrooms when we get here. Ah, nice. All bedrooms have their ensuite. How All many custom like wall work for each? Wow. This restroom is huge, right over here. Love it. 
Yeah, all custom, custom work for every single room. And once again, fireplace. A fireplace, yeah, yeah, another fireplace. one, yeah. <laughs> And they're gonna keep popping up everywhere. Every single room has its fireplace. And then over here, you're gonna find closets. Right now they have cabinets here, but your closet space is already integrated. Oh, good. Oh, and nice, it's hidden in the wall. Yep. Beautiful, yeah. And from here, you can see actually the skylight of the bar. Oh, here it is, yeah. Yep. So, obviously, you don't see the frosted ceiling here because obviously he has to protect it mm -hmm. that way because that glass, he has the original one. So, if the person that comes in doesn't want to keep it, mm -hmm. he can replace it to the original version. Mm -hmm. So, he just put up that glass ceiling to protect and not create damage long term to that custom glass. Makes sense, yeah, of yeah. course. And so, also, you wouldn't see dirt or exactly bird droppings. Mm -hmm. Show us the shower up close. More, you're going to see a lot of different mar marble throughout the house, a lot of different mm. tapestry wallpaper. It's, oh, this is tapestry, yeah. Yes. I can tell. So, how is it? Is it challenging selling an old style home like this as opposed to now the new glitzy billionaire's row apartments? In a way, because a lot of people now want the like the white shoe box in a way, because yeah. they can transform into what they want. So here you need to bring somebody that either loves this decor already and wants to maintain it, or has the vision to see what it could become. Right, right. So yeah, because the New York City landmarks actually was looking into landmarking this building because mm -hmm. it's so architecturally important. And again, more custom work on the walls, custom colors, custom tapestry. Yeah. And it seems big, but this is not the main bedroom yet. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, there's more. Wow, yep. that's crazy. Yeah, it's five bedrooms in total. Five bedrooms in total. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, the, the, the building is, is big, but it's not, like, too big where you feel like it's empty and... No, not at all. No, like, yeah. the, like some, some, of the, some of these uh, mansions can sometimes feel a bit too overwhelming, but... Here, not too much. It feels more cozy yeah. in a good way. Over here, again, you got closet space in, in the wall, so it's sitting away, and then big bathroom. Wow. I'm just gonna open it. There we go. Wow, that's crazy. Ah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is basically the bathroom at like a suite in Las Vegas. Basically. And that is a gorgeous shower head. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, amazing. Oh my god, and the jacuzzi tub as well. That's crazy. Kay says five bedrooms is the perfect size. It really is, yeah, especially for New York City standards. And then you got five full bathrooms and three half bathrooms. And an actual bidet. Look yep. at that, ladies and gentlemen. It's hard to find nowadays. If you want to learn the entire history of bidets, I actually have a video on this. So <laughs> look, look back. I, I published one literally two weeks ago. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Uh, so a bidet, if people don't know, is to wash your underside. Very typical of European homes. And you can tell that they were making very important business calls back in the 1990s. Yep. It's the phone in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, Sui says, no rain shower yet. You know, I personally do have a thing for rain showers. But let's see. Let's see. I mean, but that's easily <laughs> fixed. That, exactly, yeah. That's an easy fix. If you have the money for... 15.9 I mean, yeah, million, can easily point, install yeah. it, yeah. And let's go to the top floor. Helen says, thank you, this is beautiful. Helen, my pleasure, I'm so glad uh, Jorge, Jorge reached out to me saying um, if I want to tour the home. And I'm so glad that he invited us. So round of hearts to Jorge for inviting us so to visit this home. this will be the home. master bedroom now. Wow. You got your skylights that are remotely controlled. You just come, press the switch, up and down if you want more light, less light. Oh, good, good, good. No. Yeah, no strings, thing, yeah. no nothing. It's all electronically. It's great. Yeah, a lot of light does come in here despite it being a darker side of the street. And again, you got integrated speakers for surround sound for the TV. So you're going to get them <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> this is ingenious. Wow. Yeah. And then the same system you saw with the cameras down in the kitchen, he has it integrated with the TV. So he just presses a button. You can see all your cameras live feed right from your bed. <laughs> it 
So for buyers, prospective buyers, are these features something that is usually seen as like a, a special plus? Normally, when, yeah. it's, even though it's a little outdated because it was in the 90s, it's yeah. still very well done. And it's the type of work the owner did in this property. Right now, if you just want to convert to a little more to today's day and age in technology, just a simple fix because everything's done perfectly. Even right. the wiring swap, outside can... got done in the mortar so you don't see it till it's all pristine and then you get a perfect house. You don't get no wirings outside, like all nasty. Right, it makes it a lot easier to just swap out the speaker and mm -hmm. you're basically all done with the wiring and everything, the infrastructure. Yep. That's amazing. And beautiful wood paneling here as well. Wow, mahogany, everything. And let me show you the view from outside the street right here. Kay says, that's my room right here. I love the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and again, closet space, integrated, all fixed in. Man, that's impressive. And this one is a walk-in closet. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. Keep impressive. It. Yeah, yeah, that's private. Keep, keep it a little <laughs> but, private. Uh, this is, it's on the repair right now, but this is door for the elevator. It's one of the fastest in it's, the private residence. It takes residence. 12 seconds from basement all the way to this floor. Oh, wow. 12 seconds, that's it. That's quick, yeah. It's about a three-person elevator. Mm. So, And it has custom work done inside. Hopefully, by, by the end of it, they are done so we can take a look at it real quick. Yeah. And then one more bathroom over here. Right here. Wow. This one's a huge one. And we have yet another phone in the bathroom, a little pr private shower room, and a huge jacuzzi tub. That's amazing. We're good to walk here, Ken? Yeah, please. Yeah. Please. You're going to go on the terrace? Yeah, we're showing everything. Do you, do you want to go on the terrace? The, I have to open the, door. the terrace would be great, I, yeah. I can open it. Yeah. You have the key then? Ah, you need the key? Yeah, right. Okay. The key. No. <laughs> Just so you know, the wrong time of the year. That's right, yeah. Days, you know the few days when I set it up, it'll look like this. Oh, wow. When, nice. when it's fully set on spring. And this is what I do because these planter boxes end up with hibiscus in it. And this is what it looks like when I clean it up. Yeah. That's taken from the roof looking down. Oh, I And see. so, I mean, why you're more than welcome to go out there and do that. And this is a fountain, but, you know, there's no water in the fountain now. So there's <laughs> nothing that's going to come out. Everything has to be cleaned up, and that's a couple of days of efforts. Yeah. yeah. So but you really did a great job. I love all the decoration that you did here as well. Thank you. Amazing. Man. So yeah, you get an outdoor terrace here. It's good. It makes up for the lack of backyard. And it's uh, private. You're in the back. Enough. Once yeah. it's fully spring, that you get all these trees all right. fully. Yeah. As you look out towards that wide house right there, the, the wide brick house. Yeah. That was David Rockefeller's house. Oh, well, that was David Rockefeller's. I'm interesting. That's and it. two to the left of that, and you yeah. can't get it, was Richard Nixon's house. Richard Nixon, oh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, Pre-presidency or after presidency? No, 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 no. He, he had a house in New York. Okay, okay. So okay. it was both, it was both during and after. Ah, I see, um, I see. But, but um, Pat Nixon, he lived there. David Rockefeller lived here. He sold that house to Doug Ban yeah. recently. Oh, so, and Ban is close to Clinton. I just thought I'd mention this because you can see our house is much deeper and longer than any you look out and you see I'm 37 feet deeper than anyone else. So right. it's very difficult in the front of the house that you see how big a house this is. Exactly, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. deceiving okay. from the outside. Thank you, like appreciate that. Okay, so let me zoom in on these two properties. Uh, the white one is Rockefeller right here, David Rockefeller. And he said two door, two down, I think the yellow one, uh, Nixon. For context, that was indeed the owner of the property. And again, you see all the details. Like, look at the the, the spout for the faucet. Like, you got a little birdie. Like, really it's all the details like he put into this property. And then to top it all off, you still have air rights here, so you can build another <laughs> floor. So you got two options. You can leave this uncovered and yeah. just build to the rest of the house. Maybe have 1,300 more square feet but you can close it off, leave it as a terrace or make it a room, 
but you can close it off and then you got an additional 1500 square feet that you can build in, build in total plus another roof terrace. Oh, fascinating. So you still got a little bit of playroom here. That's crazy. Or you could sell the two stories to one of the billionaire row. <laughs> Possibly, yeah. <laughs> or any new construction that's happening around here. So yeah, we can see views of billionaire's row right over here. You can see the uh, Steinway Tower right down there peeking through the clouds. Um, 432 Park. Purple says, can you put a helicopter pad? No, you were require a much higher building yes. and a very little, special A little permits. bit higher. <laughs> so this is going to be our last stop for this home. Um, let me show you just a little bit more around. You can see the back area right over here. So yeah, in a matter of weeks, this terrace will be totally different with all the trees all fully bloomed. You get more privacy flowers. from the other houses. Yeah. And a little bench. Oh my God. Okay. So I usually do bench reviews if you can hold this. Absolutely. So everyone, I'm gonna do a bench test here in this beautiful property. One, one more time, what's the address? This is 163 East 64th Street. 163 East 64th here in Lenox Hill. Oh, this is a very comfy bench. I really like this. And we got views of some houses of famous dignitaries and uh, very popular uh, Gilded Age families. And oh, I love this. It feels very serene, beautiful views of the city. I feel very calm here, relaxed. There is no backside. That's the only downside. But luckily, I don't think there's any bird droppings here, which is good. And I'm surrounded by what will be eventually hibiscus leaves. I give this bench a solid 8.8 .8 out of 10. Nice. So, Jorge, um, where can people find more information about the home? I mean, they can go to nestseekers.com. Obviously, we're in Street Easy. We're in multiple realtor sites and soon we'll announce we're gonna be selling it also as an NFT. With all this Bitcoin craze, we are partnering with a company that you're gonna be able to convert in a matter of minutes your Bitcoin into US dollars and acquire the property. Oh, fascinating, okay. And then, um, and then how would uh, one go about uh, viewing the home? They reach out to you? They'll reach out to us. You can, yeah. whichever method, website you wanna go through, you can reach out to us, we can schedule a tour. Uh, we'll, we'll have a few open houses coming out, so obviously keep an eye out for those. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have different events. So, but yeah, if you want to see it at any point in time, just reach out. Either myself or any of our coworkers will gladly show you around. Let us know in the comments, do you think this is a good deal for, again, the price? $15,995 million. All right. Let just us know. under sixteen. Let us know if that's a good deal. Um, I, if I had the funds right now, I would buy it on the spot because I'm in love. So thank you everyone so much for tuning in. A round of hearts for Jorge for showing us around. Everyone keep being awesome and always keep on exploring. Have a great day, everyone.